the basic fried rice ingredients how you prepare it is what will make it super tasty so here i have the spring onions i have the liver the liver is very important i've cooked this one i'll shred it and fry it later in the video i have green peas i have shrimp it's optional but it also adds a distinct taste to your fried rice this pepper is to season the meat i want the meat spicy have onions green pepper very important for fried rice i have the green beans and the carrots and some of the spices so let's get to it first i parboil the rice this is long grain rice it doesn't come out soggy like the short ones so i pour it into the pot i add in water to top it i cover and start cooking once it boils i'll take it off and wash it the rice has parboiled, so I'll go ahead and wash it now. I'll pour out the rice in a sieve. Pour it back into the pot, add cold water and wash it quickly. I've washed this parboiled rice twice with cold water, so I'll set it aside. Next, I season the meat. Remember that your meat has to be well seasoned because the stock from the meat will form the base for this fried rice. So I add in chick seasoning powder, seasoning cubes, break it in, salt, thyme leaves, curry powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, white pepper, rosemary leaves, onion and pepper blend. And I mix this all in together. Please note that the quantity of your seasoning should be proportionate to the quantity of the meat you are cooking. I allow to marinate for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, I cover the lid and I start cooking. The turkey meat is boiling now. I add in water to top it. I turn it in for the ingredients to mix properly. Remember that this stock will form the base for the fried rice. I cover to cook for 15 more minutes. I don't like my turkey meat too soft. As we wait for turkey meat, we'll go ahead and cut the vegetables. This is the spring onions. I've washed all the vegetables before now, before the cotton. Spring onions ready, I set it aside. Next, I cut the green beans. I cut and discard these both ends. Green beans ready, I set it aside. So I cut the carrots. Try for your vegetables to have a uniform shape. It will make the fried rice look extra special. So I dice them like this. Carrots ready, I set it aside. I have two green peppers here. I'll slice one and blend the other one. Discard this. Discard this as well. I don't add in the seeds. And I slice it. Green pepper ready, I set it aside. I do same thing for the red pepper. I cut the onions. Onions ready, I set it aside. Now I cut the liver into little pieces like this. Because I'll be frying the liver later. The liver is ready, I'll set it aside. The turkey meat is cooked well enough. So I'll just put it off the heat and allow it to sit in the stock for about 10 minutes. I want it to suck in all the ingredients. I'll transfer this meat into the oven tray. If you follow my channel, you observe I grill my chicken and turkey more than fry it. Sending it into the oven to grill. In a dry pot, I add in a little vegetable oil. We are about to cook the rice now. I flavor the oil with some onions. 
and spring onions. I give it a stir. I add in the meat stock. Be careful with this last part so that I don't add in the tiny bones of the turkey meat. I add in the green pepper I blended I told you about. I add in a little seasoning. Remember that the meat stock has lots of seasoning so that I don't overdo it. I add in salt. I stir in. You might need to adjust your seasoning if need be. I add in curry to give it that fried rice color. I stir in. Please don't skip the curry nor the green pepper blend. This will give your fried rice a very unique different taste from others. I add in the rice now. I stir in. If you observe, the water is slightly above the rice so that it doesn't go soggy. I cover to cook till the water dries. While the rice is cooking on the other side of the gas, we we'll enter the frying pan. I add in a little vegetable oil into a dry pan. The oil is on medium heat. I introduce the shrimps. I fry this shrimp for 5 minutes on both sides on, on low heat. This shrimp flavors your oil and gives your fried rice a distinct taste. You can skip it if you don't like it, but I would like to use it for this recipe. The shrimps are fried enough. I take it off from the heat. Look at that beautiful brown color. Next, I fry the liver and see I've diced it to have a perfect fried rice. Please always fry liver. Don't just cook it and put in the pot. I will allow this to fry dry. The liver is well dried. You can see. So I add in the onions and I stir fry it. This fried rice process might be a little bit more than the boiling type but the result is always different this tastes so good more than the boiling type and it doesn't go bad easily you can have your fried rice for long without it going bad i'll mix in all the vegetable now this is the spring onions stir in the green peas the green beans, the carrots, the green and red bell peppers, I stir it in. This is the frying part of fried rice. So I've just seasoned this with chicken stock and salt. Turn them in. I'm going to stir fry this for about 10 minutes. Look at that beautiful color. It will come out so well in your fried rice. I add the shrinks back in. Turn it in. This is ready now. I'll take it off from the heat and bring back the boiled rice. Here is our rice. So we introduce the veggies in it. Look at that beautiful color. So I'll mix them in. Mixing gently on all sides so that the vegetables will be evenly distributed. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Please like and share this video. Look at this beautiful color of fried rice that wouldn't spoil quickly. 
I'm sure the children will love it. You can go ahead and replicate this and let me know in the comment section how it came out for you. Our fried rice is ready. Let's go ahead and serve it now. And the turkey meat is back from the oven. So yummy. The fried rice is ready and served. The children are enjoying it and having a fun time. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.